Good morning, afternoon, and again, everyone. And this is Hippy Tesla, and today we're doing the original Resident Evil 3 on the PlayStation. Uh, what else is there to say? There's hard and easy mode. That's how it used to be back in the day. Um, there is actually no normal, which is why, as a kid, I'd always play this on easy because I was really intimidated running. When you see, just the word hard mode uh, was scary enough. And this was actually my first Resident Evil game. This is the game that got me into the series. Uh, at the time I was playing, I don't know, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and Quake 2. And I saw these uh, older guys. Well, they were probably like two years older. But you know when you're a kid, they're like, ooh, older guys. And uh, they were playing this. And I liked it a lot because of the puzzles and the zombies. I've never seen a zombie game before. I was intrigued by the concept and all that. And... Um, and from there on, I just had to go like from one to, I think Survivor was just out. That was like early 2000 when I played this for the first time. So since I haven't played this in a long time, we're going to do an easy run now. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to take maybe two sessions. And then a couple days later, we're going to do a hard run. Now I did do have a save here uh, with a hard run on it. Um, completed, but unfortunately, if I choose continue from the end, like the new new game plus, it'll start on hard again. So we go Rambo Jill, full on Rambo machine gun Jill. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. To do. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last this image. <laughs> and my last chance. My last escape. There, she said it. She said it. I mean, only if you're playing the Japanese version, of course. But she said, she said the subtitle. This is Chopper Delta, preparing to drop off at area E95070. Over. It looks just like I remember it. Beautiful. I, yeah, this is where my favorite guy is in the intro. So we're, I'm gonna guess this is happening, like this is the same night of the first outbreak, there's the van, I guess that's Officer Barricade behind there. And this is during DD? <laughs> no, it can be. That was still, that was just before the nukes. Damn, the animation so good for its time. There, here he comes. He's gonna be there in a sec. Yeah, a lot. There we go. Best guy ever. Never! <laughs> uh, I don't know why that always makes me laugh. Never! Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bodies flying everywhere. Oh, they do want some more. They want a lot. <laughs> And then this scene. Yeah, just seeing this, the intro, I was hooked on going to game as a kid. I mean, I was what, maybe, I wasn't even, I was 11 years old, and that was it. Just, this is why, this game is the reason why I played, the started, started playing The Legend of Zelda even. So, the, like the inventory management, the puzzles, I saw it here first, and then in Zelda. It's so crazy. Fuck you all. Now, as an adult, I know I don't have to kill everyone, just like guys in the way. Plus, I'm Rambo Jill now with this. What is this? I gotta remember. Uh. Oh my god, easy mode. Oh fuck. <laughs> First aid box. Yeah. Let's keep the sense of urgency and do this in the safe room. Just imagine like shooting zombies, then climbing a box and like, hold on a second, I just gotta read my manual here. Hello, zombie. Thanks for dropping by. Come on, Jill. Oh, look at that shoulder. 
They all just want to touch her. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. I like how you can hear the, like, the new line and the space, like, all the keys, damn. Looking through the window. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? No, this is what, like. My daughter out there. Out there I'm not sure how many days outside. have passed since the intro on this. Or is it like the same evening? Daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going no! Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Dude, you don't even have a sleeve. Just like, chill out. No. <laughs> I love this. Why don't they make these anymore? Oh my god, yeah. Climb with the obviously hurt hand, yep. <laughs> now, say what you want about the Resident Evil 3 remake. Uh, and people say a lot. Hold on. I'm not leaving. <laughs> I don't know why they gave him such a such a voice when he's supposed to be a wuss, but okay. Um, what was he saying? Yeah, say what you want about the remake, but uh, uh, my personal gripe... What? No sprays? That's just on hard? What? Oh yeah, this would be green and I could pick up ammo. Oh, now I gotta... Now I don't know the item placement on easy, but I guess it's just like a lot more items. Oh, there's the spray, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't like how they cut the uh, there a bit. Like it's really dumb in the remake. I, I could take a lot of things there. I don't like the Gamma Hunter as much, or you know, there are things that I liked that I didn't. But Dario, I don't know. He was he's he's not like he's nobody, but he's just like a random civilian you meet in Area Three and. Who's the first person you meet, especially if this is the first game you played, he kind of left an impression on me, and then in the remake he's like, Hi, I'm here. No, I'm dead. <laughs> yes. Yes, I will. Oh my god, I feel so overpowered with this assault rifle. What is it again? Now we can like take a breather. M4A1 assault rifle. Set to auto mode. 5 for 56 NATO rounds. I think there was another, at least another automatic weapon that used those in RE. Now these can be red, right? Blue. Or you can you can use them or check them. And it's basically... Oh my god, that frame rate. That's so smooth. The stream is not doing it justice. So, on the TV, I'm telling you, it looks like full 60 frames per second. Oh, look, it's so smooth. Oh, wow. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't look that well here. Quick turn. I think this is the first time we had quick turn in a Resident Evil game. Uh, auto aim and manual aim too. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm absolutely sure two didn't have either of those, unless you're playing the N64 version where of Resident Evil 2, where you had the basically the same uh, control scheme as an outbreak. Uh, and options. I'm not sure if it starts that, but like that default. When you're trapped by enemies, you can push them away to escape. Press the directional buttons, action button, cancel button, run button, R1, R2, and L1 buttons rapidly. So just like you could have just written mash buttons until you're... When you're grabbed? Oh yeah, okay. That's when you're trapped. They probably mean grab. And dodge is something I didn't know how to do as a kid i just mashed buttons literally because this was kind of confusing so press the r1 or r2 buttons press the action button while aiming so i thought i always had to aim to dodge but then i saw a dodge without aiming and then years later i read this again i was like oh man there were those are like two different separate conditions you can dodge and it's not it's not it's kind of random but that's kind of feels like you're struggling with zombies you might do it you might not though i've seen people on youtube pull it off perfectly so i guess there's a timing to that as well Arrgh, getting on and off map is now has a dedicated button yes 
Yeah, the last year I only streamed Resident Evil 1 and 2 and this was supposed to come in here, but it never did. So we're kind of remedying that now. Oh uh, yeah, black and white. Really? To BMW? Oh, wow. I kind of thought that I remember it that way. And the second one is probably... Here's some advanced stuff. Oh yeah, reloading tool. I think I remember the formulas. That's a long story about the reloading tool, how it's very useful, how many... What powders there are. I think even this bit was botched in the remake, kinda. I don't remember having... I only played it once. And obviously that's telling something like how I wasn't pulled in to do it again. I will, I just don't feel the rush. But this, I feel it's deeper in this, in the original, than the remake. And my favorite uh, is the acid rounds, are the acid rounds for the grenade launcher. Because, so first, my first like 15 playthroughs of the, this as a kid, I made magnum bullets the most. But then I figured out, hmm, B and C make acid rounds. Acid rounds sound cool, so I tried it. And then I did only that till the end of the game. Now, it'll say here... Yeah, why I did that? Because A is... Pl so finding A and B... Uh, what's it called? Gunpowder types? Um, A is plentiful. B, so-so. C is only made by combining B and C, right? Uh, I mean, A and B. So it's a lot cheaper and it kind of evens out that you use A and B to make a C. Then mix, the, mix those two with a B again. Um... And still, you have some leftover for like special rounds. I know, like if you make, if you keep making the same ammo, there's somewhere here. You can make mix them with the grain launcher, and yeah, you can. The more you make of the same thing, the better it gets, which is really good. That's really smart right there. Yeah, we have those two spots now. All right, nice loading times. Now I gotta adjust again from like to the tank controls after playing Outbreak for so long. Which I will do again today after Resident Evil 3. I just I just felt like playing this game and streaming it for a while. And I've been pretty tired of the past few days. Uh, I've skipped streaming completely because there, just, there was no point. I was overworked. And, oh, look at this. What the... <laughs> Why did I start playing on easy again? Oh, this is going to be... Let's let's have some fun. Yeah, it's Sunday. We want to relax. Yeah, let's start with... What do I want to use first? I think I'm going to use up this assault rifle first. Why not? I don't even have to mix anything. Oh, this is embarrassing. Okay. It's, it's ridiculous how many ammo... How much ammo I have. Oh... Let's, let's OCD this the way I like it, because, of course. Kill the, yes, that's why we play easy mode, so you can, like, be full on, like, on everything. Die! When I, when I shoot from the machine gun, I'm gonna go, never! Okay, uh, let's OCD this. So, knife. I think there's gonna be another pistol. I'm absolutely positive. So, pistol. Pistol bullets. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to need a space for those as well. Another than shotgun. Shotgun shells. Then magnum. Then I'm pretty sure I have mag 24 magnum. Yeah, this is just going to be poor nemesis. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Wait. Magnum. Actually, let's do assault rifle first. So assault rifle would go there. Then that ammo would go there. That ammo stays with me. Then Magnum. Then the reloading tool. Then the thingy majiggy. And then all of these thingamajiggies. And then. So knife, pistol, pistol. Bullets, shotgun. There's gonna be another shotgun. Yeah, more bullets. There's gonna be. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's gonna be another shotgun. So shotgun, shells. This goes here. Just keep pushing them. There we go. OCD to the max. And in the middle we have the ink ribbon, which is infinite. It would be really shameful to keep saving here. But you never know. Like, I, you get cocky even on easy mode. You can die easily. Especially with a bazooka in the face. I think that's it. I don't even have to bring any hell. I mean, this is easy mode. I played Outbreak for fuck's sake on very hard. I could do this. 
Uh, is it equipped? Oh, it is now. It doesn't say there. And then we want to do... Yeah, we want to check it because... I was kind of disappointed after playing Resident Evil 1 right after this. How in 1 you can spin the items and look at them. And I took me, I think, a long time to figure out. I mean, the same playthrough, but, I, you know, in relation a long time to just, like, flip the key and see what insignia it has on because they were all just mansion keys and like in bet in two and three they dumbed it down to this which is kind of disappointing they just yeah it's cool that it shows the the bigger model of the thing it's really like detailed and i think i'm pretty sure yeah on stream it doesn't look as pixelated because the tv is huge and the component input gives very sharp picture so you can see a lot of pixels though when you're playing it they kind of melt down because i'm in this world baby so is that all? No files? I took too long here. But this is like long startup. Various reports are sorted here. Delivery voucher book. Jelly, you don't need that. Look at this. Look at this version of Raccoon City. How detailed it is. I, you could see something was here. Someone left in a hurry. Somebody just went through the boxes. Maybe they looked for their, their stashed guns. Something. It's a lot of shit down. I don't know. I, li I love it. Just the static cams did a lot to the... For the storytelling. Barrels? No, we're not gonna look at those. Yeah. Oh, it's so weird playing... Can I do it with a D-pad? No, that's even harder. I should have plugged in my PS1 controller. Those have a lot easier D-pads to use. Oh. No, I'll use the stick. If you have more control like doing this with your thumb that this then going this oh, no this controller is liable to disconnect which does like just for a second somewhere in the cable and in ps2 games at least in outbreak it's not such a big deal but in this one it can like especially in re3 because it pauses the game but then it regains connection and unpauses and you're stuck in that moment it just get can get really fucky Okay, who's here to die? Let's go, actually, let's run and kill everything. Like Unknown said. Good idea. Oh yeah, I remember this. I want to explore, actually. That's why we're doing the easy run. I can explore freely. Board it up. Look at these streets. Oh my god, that's the Raccoon City I remember. You see a glimpse of that in Outbreak, but a lot. there's a lot of focus on indoor areas. That's why I like Outbreak. Uh, I like... Uh, Oh, hello, sir. I remember you. You're pr pretending to sleep there, right? Never! He's down. Okay. You, sir? Never? 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 Okay. Fuck you. Oh, no. It's the other guy. Never! Never! You too. Never! Never! That works. That seems to work really good. Yeah. You dead? Okay. Never! Please don't, please don't freeze. That's why we never finished that RE1 run. But, oh, hello, sir. What a camera angle there. Really good for you. You know what? I want to blow you up with the barrel. I know it's just one zombie, but fuck it. Yeah, look at him burning. Alright. Listen to the moans. I don't know if you can hear them. Jeez. <laughs> yep. It's not too long, it's not too short, it has excellent replay value. Like I said, I ran like first 50 runs, I ran on easy because I was intimidated by hard as a kid. But then one day I was just, let's do a hard run. And that's how I found out that killing, oh, there we go. Yeah, this is going to be important later. I like how it does that. And um, I realized how when you kill Nemesis um, on hard mode, he actually dropped some pieces. Are you pretending to be asleep, sir? There you go. Poked him from that. Never! Wow, that's really powerful. I wonder why it didn't work for that guy. So this is... No. No. This is a good disc. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Maybe I'll have to save and restart the console because there's a trick to calibrate... Yeah, those, those exactly. Sorry, I got spooked here. This should be locked. Yeah. Um. So the PS2 has a neat trick. Like the, I don't know if you know, never ever noticed when you go to system options. So on the 
on the main BIOS, uh, mainstream, whatever. <laughs> yeah, view indeed. There's the, uh, you can press triangle and then go to like console and uh, turn on diagnostics. Well, when this happens, you do that and it will basically uh, like try to adjust the azimuth or something of the, for the laser. There should be big E here. I think it's here. Hot dogs. Where's... Oh, hot dogs. You can't read a lot of these. Oh, there we go. Mon Mon. It's a popular hot dog stand. There we go. The perspective tells me it's here, but it's actually here. Huh. Yeah, the live selections give a lot of replay value and like different... Even though it has a randomizer. So Resident Evil 2 got the randomizer on N64. I'm not sure if you know, but you have like the standard mode, then you have the randomizer mode, which is something like in RE3 when you restart... Oh, that pose. When you restart, uh, whenever you replay the game, things will be swapped. I think it depends where you went first and how, like which routes you took and also just randomly. So if you go for the gems, if you try to look at them at one location, they'll be in the other. And that's exactly that when I was so in my first, first playthrough of this. So I've never played anything like this. I played like Quake 2, like I said, Tony Hawk's. A fighting force I played a lot and then I jumped into this and and I stopped because this is gonna be tricky I mean I'll need to focus it was a very bad run at first of course I shot everything I just wanted everything to be clean and I tried to kill nemesis every time but it kind of went bad so I restarted it uh, and I was like I know what to do now and the game was like fuck you you don't know what to do and a lot of things shuffled Including the gems you need to collect and all that. So that gives it a lot of replay value. Ooh, there's Brad. If I went there earlier, I wouldn't have seen him. Never! Never. Never! Eh. Sir. Sir? Sir, I need you here, sir. Never! Hey, <laughs> I never dimmed to death. He's bleeding? That's where we're okay. Never! That guy used to jump me really good. Blah. Okay. There's this guy, along with the flies and everything. I love this room. I just love it. There's, I don't know. It's just like, again, it tells the story. There's nothing. You can just check, like, the, what, cases of drinking water. So I guess he was, it was a f maybe a family or, or, <laughs> yeah, Brad. It was maybe a family, maybe it was a, a bunch of neighbors that barricaded here and they all zombified. This guy killed himself. Like, you, I don't know. That's the story that I get. You might get a different story, but it, that's that's the beauty of this. So there's a lot of drinking water. So obviously, did somebody try to hold out? There we go. Zippo. Well, it's not a Zippo. They couldn't use that. I think this is where they stopped using trademarks as much. Let's see. No, not combined. Uh, check. It's a Benelli. It was a Remington in the first one. I'm pretty sure the second one also had a Remington. Don't quote me on it. And this is just like an. It's not. It's a. Is it a sawed-off Benelli? I'm not sure. Yeah, it is a sawed-off. It was right there. Damn, I'm so excited. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's fuel for a lighter. I mean, isn't that plain obvious? What's the brand? Turn. Or burn A? I think it's turn A. Like what? Turn my head around to read? Is that the point? I don't get it. Hello? Flies? Flies aren't zombified. They're only in resident. Can you see the flies? They should be, yeah. Yeah, they're visible in the... I think those are flies at least. I always thought they're... Oh no, those are maggots. I just realized that for years I thought there were flies run flying around. I just, now I realize those are probably maggots. Okay! Resident Evil, whenever I play it, I find out something new. I never played it on the, on this big TV, so I always used, had these, like, tiny TVs. Let's go, let's go back to the beginning. I want to check what's there to read. I want to explore. I want to run free. I want to run fast. Jill moves pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, we're back at the beginning. Yep, we heard her. That's that's why I came back. So I want to see this. Chick -chick. Oh, is there something to read here? There's nothing strange, except for the oh, stop. Except for the 
corpse over there? Never! I said never! He understood. She's dead. She's dead. Okay, I guess forensic analysis is done. Jill, bravo, stars. I think he's still okay, but if I remember correctly, this something will change here after I'm done with the police station. Are those guys there? No, there's nothing here yet. Yeah, let's 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 pester Dario. Let's see if he's. You want to go out, Dario? I cleaned out your daughter's outside. You shouldn't see her. Oh, no. better you better stay long. Pretty sure that's his daughter. But you know, can't. I have a lot of mixed memories of RE3 after so many years. I think the so I played this one the most for like seven years, and then I played I don't know between one and two which one I played more. I guess I kind of burned out Resident Evil 3. That's why I never got the eight epilogues because I had like 50 runs on easy in those like 70 years, and then. There's nothing here, though that car might open up. Let's check that up. I should really go get the map, actually. That should be that should help a lot. But I kinda know the streets here. Guy, you wanna kinda surprise me there? Oh. Oh, that's gonna be later, okay? Yeah, that's also probably when I get back from the police station. Okay, let's follow Brad. Like, no hurry here. It's like uh, my last escape, so that's why I have to check everything. I have to look around. The shutter is down. That's important for the plot, you know. The shutters are like really. <gasps> yeah, this bit. Come on, don't you don't like this street? I get it. We will not send you to that street again. I will need to save somewhere just out of precaution. Probably when I get to the just before the police station, if I ever even reach it. Yes, it's a barricade. I'm telling you, it's the. That's what I wanted to show. So right here. Right here, oh yeah, it's not gonna be visible. I have to get there. I like to study these maps and find things, find connections. Uh, compare the this map to the RE2 outside, like Raccoon City map, which I always kind of held it against them for keeping it. You know, you can't see it after you're done with that part on any version. Not even on the like on the in the remake. I think you can't go back to the Raccoon City map, which is like, I want to know, I want to compare things now that I have all the maps, which Resident Evil 1 and this one, like, fairly let you do. So, I have enough, oh my god, she even starts with 10, one, one, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 slots, yeah, that's not on hard. You have to equip the fanny pack, which means the fanny pack here means nothing, which is why exactly I thought for years that just, the animation is just like, I don't know why what he gave her. I'm not seeing it in the inventory, so I felt tricked. Shubili doobili do. Anything to read? No. No. Nice architecture, though. Just like to look at the camera angle. Look at that. It's like, oh my god! It tells it's, it's Hollywood framing. I don't know. I don't know. I love it. I obviously love it be hard to give like a fairly critical opinion of this game because I have to contain myself yeah this is the map street shutter is down shutters are your enemies so this is the spot I think come on come on yep you can see exactly where the barricades cut it off now Jill is from stars from police uh, I mean from raccoon police department obviously they have a big problem with barricades as Dorian uh, Shows. I want to check that again. Nothing. Yeah. Like you could easily jail. You you should be agile. You should you should just climb over that. Just fuck it. Never. Oh, I feel bad. I didn't never the 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 other guy. Never. I like the blood. Like it spatters so much more than in two. Bar Jack. And the bar from Outbreak is Jay's bar, right? It's so confusing. I used to call them both uh, Jack's bar. Just recently I was cor corrected. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him every time. I have to. This is easy mode. It'd be shameful not to. Then if I die... Well, we're not gonna talk about that. Oh, dad. Like, look at all the details. Oh, my God. Oh, the guy's getting eaten. But you know what? I can't help him anyway. So let him get eaten door has been sealed. These are like apartment buildings. You see very little of these in the remake, really. Like, even 
the the angle here so i see three buildings the one to the left the one here to the right and the one straight there and i can't help but think oh, i'll be back there i just want to see this again i'm just soaking it in look at that oh my god i want to live here like pre-apocalypse but also post-apocalypse why not what about these doors they're all been sealed what is that is that a i'm trying to figure out is that like a closet in front of them and did they use the same model here kind of here oh no it's like there's a bike here and a piano <laughs> oh gee oh i applaud people who and this is like a mattress who thought of these things like the little details how long it took them to plan and this was a this was supposed to be a quickly slapped side game it wasn't even supposed to be re3 boutique which we only get in new game plus hello guys enjoy your meal see that so look at this look at this so this here like this uh fire stairs and this kendo there's definitely a kendo gun shop uh van that always bugged me that I, i'm and the the green bricks on this building kind of think that i'm close to the uh to the gun shop uh from re2 which could be knowing so now we have the map this is the rpd right this here and as claire and leon on a side you enter it here so you come from here we know there's a parked bus here that you run past you come from somewhere here so i'm guessing if i remember correctly if you get there er, and then it would go up yeah it would be somewhere i'm gonna say there then here i don't know get kendo so it should be somewhere here then i'm not sure and it also tells me that you run past the sales office in re2 stuff like that so yeah i'm excited <laughs> and mixing this with outbreak this is that feels so good they kind of have the same topic escaping the city right so i always saw outbreak like as a single player experience i saw it as more of an expansion or or a bigger view of re3 with different characters but playing it online that's oh look at that like look at the, the textures the everything my god it's just meticulous details the bricks are different some of them are dirtier it just breathes real you don't need this is like this is 240 pixels tall ladies and gentlemen this is like i could run past over them but never Whew. good thing there's not too many of them i don't want to never for a long time you bleeding out sir the other guy yeah he is it looks like they ate a zombie like zombies ate a zombie but he screamed like a person so i don't know what does it say daily fresh it's locked with a solid gauge i guess you couldn't use your master of unlocking skills there the passage is completely blocked off but what jill where's that that leads me back to here so i need to go here but yeah we got to do it a long way because that's resident evil can you read this no it says fruit or something on the window yeah it's like a deli store we almost uh spent the clip of never gun so i'm gonna call it never gun that that's what we're gonna call it from here on out the footsteps so wait is there something there where's the big e poster i'm just interested because i saw it Various want ads. Oh, so cute. And, uh, is that like a wanted something lot or IOD or I don't know. What does it say on the red thing? It's kind of, if maybe if I blur my eyes, something locked to something will be something. I guess we'll have to, maybe it's better on the stream. I guess it's kind of blurry and better. I'll check it out in the recording later. Never. Oh, wait, I'm not shooting. No parking, I guess. Brad, hold on. Chicken heart. Stop. In the name of the law, never. Never. I told you never. No, sir. I said never, not on the ground. Oh, let me aim at you well. Never. Blah. Okay. Shutter is down, and there's a square hole. Oh, Jill, you're also the master of cranks by this point, definitely. You survived Spencer's mansion. <laughs> yeah, he's literally running from her. I guess he thinks she's still pissed at him from for Resident Evil 1, so he's been avoiding her. <laughs> oh, 
Look, there, there are the barricades. That's where Dorian put them, you motherfucker. That's where he put the barricades, and you wouldn't move them for us. Oh my god, when I see you next time, Dorian, you're dead. Or maybe that's where he took him from? I don't know. Let's go here. There should be a red herb somewhere? No. I thought there should be. I want some red herbs. I'm like, okay. Thank god for those two extra slots. This would be harder. Chooby dooby doo. We're gonna never bread into life. Well, rescue him. Never to the rescue. Yeah, I'll just like. Ugh. He looks like shouldering him. Get Don't away. use your arms. Never! <laughs> well, Brad, that's how you do it. Not like you do it, asshole. Uh, hang in there. You still alive, Jill. You've just been chomped in the neck. The police aren't trained just hang in there. Situation. What could they do? Listen. I mean, we've seen what they could they what they could do. The officer die. Doofus Harry from Outbreak showed us. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after I love these no hand gestures. That was so good to, you know, to save resources on not animating. I don't think I think it was nearly impossible to animate them. <laughs> I mean, seriously, <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good point, Classy. Oh my God, why don't you play pinball and drink cool beer? You see, it's cool beer, people. It's like a Raccoon City brands. We got cool beer. We got deaf people. Stuff like that, you know. A payphone. Isn't it broken? I remember, like... I should, should say for one of these it's broken. But maybe let's... Because I played both the... This is the PAL version. I should probably mention the European one. And I know there are slight differences in some things. For instance, this aspect ratio. You see it's a little like widescreeny. It's because lazy PAL ports in the 90s. So basically, PAL had higher resolution... But lower frame rate than NTSC, the standards used in uh, America and Japan. And uh, many developers would do this shit. But better here where it's brighter. So, so instead of like porting it properly, this is just the... So the resolution of the NTSC image would be 480 pixels. But the PAL would be 576. And instead of like stretching it to the full 586, it only uses those middle 480 pixels. That's why everything looks kind of widescreen even though it, it isn't. It's kind of squished. Some of the rare old games that did it right were Ocarina of Time, like a lot of Nintendo first and uh, second party games, not Super Mario 64, unfortunately. Foreshadowing, foreshadowing. I like how the postcard says postcard. In case you're not sure what you're buying, this is a postcard. <laughs> a postcard. Explanation. A landmark spot. St. Michael clock tower right partially consumed food and drinks oh yeah the the clock tower was really awesome because it was it was the piece of resident evil 1 in re3 police station was so police station in 2 is definitely the piece of re like the it's spencer mansion for new generations yeah i'm gonna collect everything even the bullets i don't need because I want to stack up that box and see if we can fill it. Bottles of Bourbon line the shelf. There's no SP items here. That's too bad. But you can see this bar has the same finish as Jay's bar. I guess they use the same carpenter. What's this? The sink is full of dirty dishes and glasses. What's this? Nothing. Did we skip a file so far? I shouldn't. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing this like at the slowest pace possible. 50, well, I'm going to say 40 minutes. I'm just here. But like I said, this is going to be an exploration run. So sit back and enjoy. When we do the hard run, that's when we're going to haul ass. So do I want to go there? Yeah, this is not going to help me going here. Nothing special. So I'll just go back and where I wanted to go. I'm going to see Brad later anyway. Oh, what's on the wall there? Nothing. Oh yeah, this is the first time where they introduce the thing where you can just like hold the action button as you approach the door and it'll open. You don't have to like mash it. You just have to 
like tap it i mean hold the button and as soon as you get to the door or maybe even something you can check let's confirm that no just the door so for checking items you still have to do it it's so weird like how playing outbreak for a few weeks months has like changed my habit of control so right now i never switched anything from like a but right now if the square isn't cancelled it's just bugging me i have to press triangle you know where triangle is it's like on the other side of the controller why the fuck would i do that let's unlock that starter part oh biggie where are you biggie 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 i found big e's ring and uh outbreak and then i just i just want to find it here i know i saw it somewhere in I, uh, re3 I was even looking for the posters, uh, Big E posters in, uh, in uh, Resistance, uh, in the casino map. Yeah, are this guy gonna, is this guy gonna jump out now? Let's see. Hello, sir. Oh, is that, uh, hold on a second. Which bar is that? That's not Jay's bar, right? No, it kind of, no, it shouldn't be. It's hard to see these streets. Kind of looks like it. It's Raccoon City has many 60 style UK bars or New York. I guess it kind of looks like New York architecture. Correct me if I'm wrong. No! Oh, thank you. Yes! Yo, I've been waiting for you, sir. Never! Okay, he's dead. What do we have here? Did I mix the thingy with the thingy? No, I didn't. Look at this, like full inventory. Let's check the Zippo. That's not a Zippo. Has no oil left. You sure? Wait. You... Yeah, but I never... I could never figure out where the bits from Re uh, Outbreak fit. It just didn't make... Doesn't make sense in some... I really want to fit that bit in. Okay. whoop -a. Let's -a go. Yes, B, we're getting closer to those freeze rounds. Okay, sir, thank you for jumping out. Appreciate it. Uh, now I'm kind of tempted to see if she's going to comment on that. You mean the... I don't know what you mean. Oh, I'm intrigued. What, what what, what thing? From Wild Things? What, the tram part? Is that what you mean? Is that the same... Is it supposed to be the same street? Because I didn't see no zoo here. I'm interested now. Talk to me. Where is the big E poster? My god, I think I missed it somewhere. Oh, okay, we'll find it. At some point. The music is just like... Oh. Some last escape I'm doing here. Guys, will you calm down there? Oh my god, look at these barricades. What is this? Where would this go? That will go back to the first street. And where's the bit where I started? No, oh, it's here. So this is where I started the game. Presumably, this is Jill's apartment here. Or at least her apartment building. Because she like kind of blew out of there. Some parked cars. She ran here. Obviously went in here, and somehow this whole bit is blocked off, she got here. So I'm gonna guess she sh somehow jumped over barricades, or they weren't there, then they put him. And it's really sad, so that's, I think that's exactly where I, yeah, where I saw the car. And it's the same street, this is where I went to be, right? I mean, yeah, it is. So this is where the guy just jumped out of the car, and it's the same street, but you can't get to it, I love that. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna never you to oblivion assholes. Can you climb this? Yeah, this is like if you wanna safe haven if you fucked up. Oh, that was I did not expect you guys, but okay. Let's just all fall in line, please. Don't no hurry. Yeah. But the, those two assholes always lag behind. Okay. As soon as they come a little closer, I'm gonna go a little. Push. Yeah, and those two always like stay. Never! Never! Never? Never. Yep, they're dead. Watch the original Raccoon City map. 
wild thing is it's called raccoon zoo seriously where the original raccoon city map oh two red herbs oh my god that is so that is good okay you can't combine them on the go all oh, right that's the, that's the thing okay we'll be back just gotta kill the dogs there should be a file here Ugh. there it is photo a the policemen are pressing forward that is september 27th so yesterday in games timeline i mean current like games it's been bound tight with rope and one open the rope seems to be soaked with oil and I just have this gun on me so I don't know what to do. I think I'll have to just leave it. The first puzzle I ever solved in a Resident Evil game, this will always have a special like place in my heart, burning this rope. I was like, oh, I have a lighter, I have lighter oil, there's a gate with rope, it says it could burn, I mean, oh, Eureka. That was a really good revelation, I still remember it, even though it was... My god, 21 years ago now. Oh. Hello, doggies. Oh, hi, doggy. Oh, hi, doggy. Oh, hi, doggy. There we go. There's the doggy. Doggy. Yeah, they want me to come here. You're burning in fire. Why are you alive? For fuck's sake. Another one, right? Okay, it's really badass when she reloads like that and I survive. The fire hydrant. Even this isn't as cool in the remake, kind of. Like, this was a big deal for me. I So much later, you find a hose and you remember, like, there was... Oh, they were talking about the fire hose earlier. I will need that. That was. I mean, still try to think through the eyes of a of an 11-year-old kid. And... I don't know, in the remake it's kind of, oh, there's a fire hose, maybe a tall glass drink of water like you could put out a fire, ha ha, that was funny, okay, let's go, fire out, we go. It's kind of lifeless. Now, now I can go back and do that, okay, let's go do that, because I used that clip. Again, this is some, for someone I, I'm, I, I'm not, I don't adore, but I enjoyed the Resident Evil 3 remake. I mean, it was fun, but obviously it wasn't didn't have this kind of exploration and desperation thingy but it, I get what they were trying to do at least I think I do they were oh yeah let's examine them a rare herb that can enhance the effect of green herb several herbs can be mixed to enhance their effect there's just like two herbs like, I like how it even has the root with it like it's still there do you eat the root do you what do you do there Jill what are you doing there the original red green herb yeah <laughs> she would she would man like for 15 years i did not even know cindy even has like i like i said i told him heaven has a special item like that i didn't even try anyone else so i and yoko yeah with her backpack so i had no idea cindy can store extra herbs had i known that i would have played cindy a long time ago Du, 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 du. Exploration that's taking a long duration. All right, we're gonna make some rounds just for these rounds, nothing else. I'm not making anything else. What do I want to pack in? Some of these mixed drugs, please. More drugs. Actually, I want to keep one one drugs in case, because I'm going to do something bad in a second. Uh, the extra banali goes here. The extra bullets go here. What else do we have? What do I want to start my battle against the big guy? I want to go... Do I want to... Hmm, do I want to use the... Actually, let's use the magnum on it. Fuck it. I do want to take some zombie heads off, but I like magnum in him specifically though the assault rifle should also be good but uh, no this won't be necessary for a while so you're going into the item batch oh we have two of those really holy shit that's gonna be nice we can make some 
already freeze rounds but not use them yet i want to make them stronger better we have the technology gunpowder b a and b make a c so are we saying uh we want to do b c right for the is that uh, yeah i think it is b c yeah it's b c b c okay there and the reloading tool i forgot i'll need that to mix them you can't do it in the in the inventory it's cc oh never mind s is good s is good yep 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 i, I got it uh i wish i uh, uh never mind s is good yep i'll we'll go with acid i did it on purpose i was just testing you zombie you passed the test okay damn it i spent two bees on that <sighs> zen okay we'll do it another time <laughs> zen do i want to save you know what no because since i fucked that up if something goes wrong i'm just gonna restart was there anything else there no <laughs> i read it cc why did i do bc oh oh boy well what's in the past is in the past let's look ahead in the future we have a monster to kill hello books 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 new release information well it does well, not like it matters now coffee 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 what coffee okay so it looked weird from this angle that's locked and that's gonna go behind the kind of on the side of the rpd yeah 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 and it's locked with a simple lock well you're some master of unlocking you don't have your lock pick on you at all times should you should keep it at least as a memento from barry i mean what the hell joe that car looks nice this car looks weird but still i love it that car is pretty smashed i love it i love these little pylons i love this i love the view of the rpd look at that you can even see it's like whatever that is like the tower thingy on the left side yeah the clock tower Water is gushing out from a broken hydrant. Yay! Shower time! Oh, it looks so lovely. Oh, shower gel, shower gel. Okay. Clean and refreshed. I imagine you'd want some fresh water, like, and refresh yourself before, like, doing this. Look at this. Just soak it in. Ooh. Ah, oh, yeah. This is an evening or so before Leon and Claire arrive. So, like I said, they're gonna come from this side here and I can't go there and it hurts me I want to go there I want to explore I want to explore the map of RE2 and 3 like combined I want to see more of Raccoon City I want to see I want a game where you start like a day before outbreak or like let's make that outbreak final three like you start the day before you just like s enjoy the city at least a couple of streets it would be enough but this part and then you go to Jay's bar for drinks and then it starts that's what I want. Do I have the Magnum equipped? Yeah. It should be easy. It should be easy. Just save me, Jill. Well, he's gonna gulp him like he's a piece of bread. <laughs> Help me! You who might be betrayed several times in the past. Poor Brad, I still don't like what happened to him. I might bungle this, it's possible, but I'll try not to. It's been a long time, so forgive me. He's gonna go stars first, right? No, first I have to choose, yeah. Du -du 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 -du. I want to fight with the monster. Hello, monster. I kill you. No. He should be stunned from that for a second. Woo! No, he's gonna grab me! Oh, blah, 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 that's my breathing neck! Oh, just smash buttons, smash buttons. Get up, Jill, don't let him re-grab you. Stop right there, sir, I'm police! Fish police, police station. Ah! What's his left hand, his grabby hand? I forgot all this! Fuck you! What well, was like, the third? Ah! Leave me alone! 
At least run or do something. Oh, he's ran. He ran. I, I had to ask. I had to ask. It's okay. I still have one here. Why are you so slow, Jill? You're a, you're a police. Do something. Rah! No, I don't... I, he shouldn't get me. Oh, you just need to mash buttons and don't let him... Ooh, do I want to live reload? No, I do not want to live reload. That would be the next step of cockiness. Stars! I don't want to kill him again. Fuck you. Now I should be able to hand in a good two hits. Yep, there we go. Stars. We're both hurt. Stars. Stay down. He's not leaving anything on easy. That's so sad. Uh, too bad. But yeah, monster down. Ooh, I want to live reload. I want to see how she does that. Give me a good angle. There we go. Is this good? No, just a little bit back. How the fuck did you do that, Jill? What did you, What? I guess a speed loader that's never mentioned? What is this? An S and W. Okay, 44 Magnum bullets, but is this? Yeah, this is a speed loader, obviously. So she keeps finding speed loaders, I guess? Or like, reloading it behind scenes? Hello, sir. You're not gonna get up? You're not gonna stars? Let's check what Brad has here. Card case, yes. Why did I bring the rounds? Oh my god, I'm so lost. Stars Alpha Team member Brad Vickers. His face has been decimated. Oh, so many words I learned playing Resident Evil games as a kid. Now we got Brad's star card, the nah, stars card. And the nice thing is a card of some kind inside the plot. You know what it is! <laughs> but okay, he's gonna take it out of the case. Stars card. Then you gotta check it again. An ID card for stars with Brad's pictures picture on it. Picture? Like I'm pretty sure there's more than a, his picture there, but okay. Stars. Is there a, is there some weed here? I think Marvin had a stash over here, no? Who and how barricaded this? And this is not the same police station I played in Desperate Times. Like who, who, who did this? This is this is supposed to be before that? Or no, this is Supposed to be... Yeah, Marvin fell. This is... Oh, wait. So it goes Jill first. Then Leon and Claire, then Jill. Yeah. So this is like after Desperate Times, but before... Resident Evil 2. Can I use the side door? No. Can I use the other side door? No. No Kevin bullets around. Nothing. I feel cheated. I feel cheated. Chick chick. All right, so much weed lying around. Oh my god, police police work is stressful, so you know we gotta take some edge off. Do I want to use? Yeah, I'll, it's, it's a pity to use that red green. There's literally no reason to. Thought it's gonna be a lot harder, but again, this is easy mode. I underestimate, I overestimate the game and underestimate myself. Jill, take that weed, Jill. Yeah, there we go. We we'll take the green herb, yes, and we're gonna consume one right now. Um, there, I'm fine and dandy, Jill. Who did this? Who did this? Show yourself. Of course, it's completely blocked off. That's hmm, maybe that like the the outbreak survivors did that because Marvin couldn't have done it. He was obviously dying there in the room, the too busy dying. Yeah, she did. She did. She's this. So, first, Jill is here, right? She does her business, which is just getting the fucking lockpick. That's the only reason why I visit this police station. They could have kind of expended it there, but I get what they were going through. You're running all the time. Makes sense. Flying goddess. <laughs> With all those weeds around. Yeah, it is a flying goddess. She has a unicorn, too, you know. <laughs> I I think we're solving this mystery. We got a bunch of weed. We got a flying goddess. Backed with by a unicorn. It all makes sense now. This is this is what the RPD does in their free time. That's boarded off. And on top of everything, it's locked electronically. I mean, people, come on. They're just zombies. They can't open doors until, you know, all the way until outbreak. So you should chill out. <laughs> 
Yeah, I was saying Jill does arrive there earlier, then Jill falls to her slumber. Old typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon. If I had an ink ribbon. Just the western part. So Aldre gives you just the eastern part of the police station. RE3 gives you the western part. RE2 gives you like the whole thing. And you can see the outline. I always like that in all Resident Evil games. I'm pretty sure for the first one. You can definitely from second one onwards. You can see the outline in the... Well, I'm not on the cam. On the, you know, the map, the thingy. Um, you can see how big the building is and where you exactly you are in the building. I love that. To the first door of the RPD. Wait, do you mean... Oh, when he crashes through or if I didn't kill him and if he followed me through the main entrance? I know both of these happened. My last hard run, I didn't kill him outside because I was not sure I'd do it. So, I just ran. Oh, we can do this right away. Hold on, you can do it like that, but you can also do it like that, I think. Oh no, it's just in RE2. Yeah, that's both of those are pretty scary, digital. Notice to stars personnel. For some reason we have, I think, that's an image of the umbrella room. And test icon is a tyrant or a zombie. And system is, I don't even know what system is. Like, Is that Matrix? Is that like a green city from, uh, from uh, Eternal Darkness? I'm not sure. When you're fighting him? Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. In the police station, yeah. It goes BOM. Yeah, we'll see it. It's even coming soon. Yep. It, that's the point, I guess. Due to the emergency. Yeah, that's in the hallways, I know. The key to the star's office has been moved to the evidence room. Today's pa password for the safe is 4312. Okay, so... There's one point when you hear him breaking through yeah we'll see that we're gonna down in there now it would be cool if i actually made those is this locked for yeah we have to go the other one is locked okay if i made those acid uh, freeze rounds by the end we could just like use two or three and he would down them like at the very last battles but i bungled that so we're gonna have one less and i was even telling like all the time i was i'm saying about i'm talking about freeze rounds being bc while reading the opposite like what the hell where's leon's memo show it to me i know it's here no it should be on the desk there so jill just ignored leon's memo what i, I know there's a guy there and uh, there he is never well he fell down pretty quickly and he's actually dead okay the crawly mccrawly on here isn't dead. look at him you want to trick me? I see your head, man. I see your head moving. You know what? Never! Yeah. The trick to Cerberus? AI? You mean in this game? There's the sound. It was just there. And the squeaking. So they tried that. I mean, they tried it. They did kind of the same thing in Resident Evil 2 Remake. When you're going through the police station. You can hear these uh, sounds. Um, like squeaking of the wood and all that. It's way more advanced, of course. Because the RE2 Remake has a more advanced sound system. Has everything more advanced. But this is where it started. Like those like squeaking sounds. The floorboards. The eerie piano. The dead Marvin, it all started here. He's not dead. You tricked me to believe he was dead game. Yeah, I, th I think you can in some situations. I think if you're, when you're like in their faces, they will not ignore you. But like if you walk, you should be able to... It just wouldn't risk it on easy uh, when you can just shoot them. Marvin Brana, he's been fairly wounded by zombies. You can blame Rita for that, by the way. What a what a perfectionist! What an uh, I thought I had uh, OCD, but look at this guy. He's like he's he's being bitten by zombies. He's ex like his co dead colleagues came back to life, and he's writing a report. September twenty fourth. There are reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. 
jewel-decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. And as it is like the, the tradition in Raccoon City, we really love our puzzles, so that really sucks. If we can't solve our puzzle before, you know, our morning coffee, it's gonna be a bad day, yeah. Due to the lack of available officer at this time, I have no choice but to suspend the res research of this case. Sign Marvin Bran Brana. See, he has OCD, he has to sign everything. September 26th. Based upon I don't know why I gave him this voice just enjoy. <laughs> Based upon an autopsy report of a 42-year-old restaurant owner, I have discovered that he has one of the missing gems. But he apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. You know, because we just wanted to be sure, man. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case. At this time, we'll keep the gem as evidence. And his corpse is just gonna rot there because, you know, we're kinda overworked here. Signed, Marvin Brenna. Taking Marvin's report. No word about outbreak things. Oh, Marvin, your priorities are just weird. Fatally wounded. And that tricked me as a kid. Took me like five runs of RE2 and RE3 to realize, oh my god, this is a day or two before and he's not dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Leon and Claire uh, are there a day later on September 29th. Nothing special. Well, there, were, there was another asshole here that I killed by accident. September 29th, Michael Festival. I'm still using this voice I chose for Marvin, because I somehow love it. Kind of reminds me of Leo from that 70s show, but I don't know. I just love doing voices. Voices are fun. Alright. Nothing about Leon. I'm disappointed, Jill. Your new colleague. There's even welcome Leon on the table there. Look at it. It's right there. Oh. You gonna tell me that Marvin just put it on the table later? When he... Oh, yeah. That's probably why Leon finds him here. Because he... Claire, actually. Because he, uh, he just crawled there to put the note. And then he went away. Okay, let's go. This is taking like... This is like... I'm making this way longer than it should be. Definitely. Like, some people would have finished the game by now, I'm sure. Oh, look, a gem. And a... Shouldn't this, this be locked or something? Will you take a blue gem? Yes, I will take a blue gem. Thank you very much for the blue gem. Let's inspect the said blue gem. This is a nice blue gem that is actually a sapphire shining in blue. And it's a gem. So it's a sapphire. Okay? It's locked with a simple lock. You can't just, like, shoot at it, you know? Those simple locks may be simple, but man, they do pack a punch. Uh, what was it? 40... Blo oh, 4312, I think? I forgot. I just keep on yapping and... Uh, 401230? Yeah, there we go. And that's too bad, because I can't take it at the moment. So I'll have to visit that safe room and just, like, dump it there. At the same time, I need to do other things in the safe room. So that's what I'm going to do in the safe room. Safe. Never! That's for the lady and for the Mr. Gentleman. Never! Are we never? Yeah, there's another one. Never! Never. Sir, are you never? Oh my god, there's another guy. Never! Dead? Yep. Look at that window. There's nothing suspicious out there at all. Look. Jesus, yep. <laughs> that kind of spooked me. Can't see anything outside this window. That's why I'm gonna get inside this room. Please, do not leave the dark room door open. I mean, I'm not crazy, man. That's a safe room. Copy paper and office supplies. Copy paper and office supplies. Okay, through the door we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's like, okay, dude, yeah, we have these rules, but you know what? I can't do this forever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stars your ass out of there if you're not out soon, Jill. I, I'm getting angry here, Jill. I mean, I've even got a bazooka in the meantime, Jill. I mean, stars. David's memo. My sanity is at its end. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man yesterday. Mayor, one of our better marksmen. Because Chris isn't here, we had to use, like, the second best guy. He saw me panic once, we were overrun by the zombies, but he came back to save me. But when the time came to return to death, I ran. 
like a pussy. I was trained by Brad, after all, you know. I can still hear him calling out my name. He was going, David, you still owe me five bucks. I can still hear the screams coming from behind. Five bucks! The sound of his flesh being stripped from his bones. I was afraid, terrified. I loved my five bucks. I didn't want to part with them. It's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. Now I'm cutting through the chill with whiskey, unloading my Mossberg on anything undead. That shotgun's become a close friend of mine. I blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. I plan to make a garden in the spring, so I'm thinking ahead. You know, we've lost 13 men as of yesterday. Three hours will bicker over tr trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this bottle, my old friend Mossberg will be turning one last body into fertili fertilizer. Peace at last. I can hardly wait. What, to become fertilizer? To make more... Plants grow? <laughs> there should be something here. Let's dump shit first. I just realized, like, kind of doing that slightly Batmanish voice. That guy's name was David. <laughs> Where's the magnum slot? Where it should be... How did I lose the magnum slot? Oh yeah, it's here. That, and I want to... I want to put these here, because we don't need them, and the sapphire is long from being used. Now some eternal items like the lighter and the stars card, then we put this, then we put that, then we can put the sapphire and you find 60 pistol why are you giving me pistol bullets i have all this you can't run out of ammo on easy seriously poor david yeah i mean we're talking about david the plumber or david the police officer Urgh, hardy hardy i'm gonna keep that because i should get Whatever I get in that, so it could be either the Magnum or the or the grenade launcher. I'm keeping both of these. One of those. Yeah, there's so so much. Well, look at this. I'm gonna max out the fucking box. So we need that. Let's focus. We need that. We need. There's the key over there. Yeah, I can go back to get Jill's card, just because OCD. So let's do that. <laughs> Probably. They both sound Batman-y. I mean, you can't hear the police officer's David voice, but he must sound something like that. Nothing suspicious, man. It's just a dark room. No, no warnings in the dark room? Like, keep the lights on? Anything? Oh, boy. You just turn? <laughs> a weird angle. She can't turn without changing the camera angle. Is there anything here? No, anything here? Yeah, there should be some gunpowder. Gunpowder. Now I could have had those freeze rounds. Yes, I'm not forgiving myself that. No, nothing here? No, okay. Nothing here. Ah! Gotta be careful with that. Okay. 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 I wanted to leave that. This is the chillest last escape ever. Just Jill. Chilly Jilly. Do I have enough for it? Yeah, what? I mean, I can just like... I can let them bite me and I should be able to die. We should, I should try that, just like running without weapons on easy. Hello! I am going to check this back room, just because I want to. Oof. So there should be doggies or... Yeah, there are doggies. Don't see me. What a good angle. Doggy puzzle. Are they gonna grab here? No, that's only an R2. They're not horny yet. That's like. Maybe they just like Claire more than Jill. 
Then who the fuck removed it by Resident Evil 2? Explain, Jill, explain. Why don't you... Oh, so many questions. Jill, can we just have a chat? Just like, have a coffee, catch up, you tell me what happened here. I would love that. Hello? Dear colleagues, any coffee left? Oh, you drank everything. Thanks a lot. Soda cans and jug. There was soda and you didn't invite me. Shame on you guys. Shame on you. And I am so irresponsible leaving my star cards here. Why? Here, yeah. It was a recent accident here. I need, I know it ties into like the report. I think it's David's second. Or yeah, one of them. Th this, yeah, that's the thing. David's memo, All right? Um, he mentioned. Yeah, it's the other. I think it's. I forgot which report is that. Will you talk about this? Hello, President Jill here. I have something to say. Never! Alright. Operation map. Maybe for Operation Raccoon City? Huh? 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 Ooh, shotgun shells. Come on. Yeah. Stop making noise. Open sesame. We okay. I'm gonna finish the police station today. This uh, this really dragged on. This is how I play Resident Evil on my own. Honestly, I don't care about the shortest time or anything. I just like to see and touch everything, soak up the environment. Like I finished like like Resident Evil three with five six hours. Fuck it. Fuck it. And the key, of course. Don't forget the key. You need to open the star's office. The star's office. It's the star's office. Do 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 The emblem key, which Jill's has never seen, so he has to check. Oh yeah, that's the star. Of course, yeah, yeah. Boy, oh boy. Slowly, watch out behind the door. Scary things are hiding behind doors in Resident Evil. Oh yeah, it's five here, five. You get used to it, kind of. I feel that some games do it. Oh, I love this. You can actually walk on the stairs. And they can walk on the stairs. Never! I said never. And there should be a... Never! Chubby zombie here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, he's over there. Don't bite me, I just want to see you. Oh, he's far away. That's like a tough zombie from, from Resistance. Come closer, sir. I just want to examine you. It does on the PS1 controller. On PS2, because all of these... Well, I can't see him. That's definitely a tough zombie. Sir? Yo, not so tough anymore. On the... Um, on the PS2 controller, because everything's analog, like even the face, like the D-pad, it's... It gets harder, because you have to push kind of harder. I can't explain it. Yeah, at this moment, I kind of have to try real hard with the deep pad I don't know I'm trying it now uh. where are the statues so you're gonna tell me the chief Brian's like oh my god it even has different footstep sounds look at listen to that so much detail that's wonderful he like hid the statues while Jill passed to bring them back up holding up his soul so much drugs in Raccoon City. Oh boy. Oh, anything here? Just a mop? A scrub. Even. Hello, doors. I have a key for you. Yes, I will. Well, why would I keep an old key? Star's office. 
Stars, office, D-pad being analog. Well, it doesn't work with RE3, unfortunately. It does, I think, with some, with some later games it does. But what I meant was, like, it, sometimes you can't just... I feel on PS1, you just lightly push up and left, right? But on the on the PS2, sometimes one of them won't really like this, so I have to like kind of push differently with the tub. Next, so the next time I stream this, I will switch to my PS1 controller. I have a couple of like almost unused ones because I keep collecting those, you know, because they're not making it anymore. So I keep looking for you know good buys where I can find. Uh... That's far too small even for a rat to fit into, but okay. I just want to make sure that you know I have even spare parts and stuff like that I buy and that's I guess that's why I kind of that that those barely used controllers spoiled me because I used it two or three times and that was like streaming Resident Evil 1 and I think playing Dracula afterwards Dracula you know the 2000 PlayStation game okay there's a bunch of shit here there's a file facts from Kendo Gun Shop the boy to the boys of stars yeah boys and two girls i think you forgot about them i have some good news for you wait this is supposed to be robert kendo what was his voice you should be ha safe here little missy something like that i have some good news for you for my brother joe that's not it but okay we'll, we'll, we'll go with that he has finalized the new handgun for official use it is the m92 f stars special but he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced of the Kendo custom guns. Joe said, if you miss the, the targets with this, you should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster. Ha 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 ha. Then the picture. It's a custom Beretta. Beretta, right? Beretta, 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 Beretta. I think it's a Beretta. The goods will be delivered along with their proper documentation. I'm sure you will be surprised when you see what kind of excellent parts were used for the M92F. Isn't that the... That's the standard army, I think even World War II gun, I'm pretty sure. And that's the gun that Snake uses in Metal Gear Solid 3. I am like 90% sure. <clears throat> what? Director Scott... No, that's not, uh, that's like, that's not really Director Scott, so I know what you mean. So there's Director Scott, er, at least in Europe, there, which is a good version of RE1, with auto-aim, with difficulty, where, where you get this gun as well, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's this gun. Uh, you start with a special Beretta and um, on advanced mode, when you go hard, all that. It's the dual shock version that fucked that up, I mean, they put that music that i am again 90 percent sure they kept comparity that in resistance so in resistance if you play the uptown map when you get to a certain point well in certain situations when it's like quieter you can hear that cacophonic sound i am telling you that's capcom like poking fun at the uh, resident evil director scott resident evil one dual shock version soundtrack i'm telling you that's the basement tune remix just just keep an eye on I, I i out for it next time you play resistance okay where were we uh, uh, um i know that you won't thank the good people who developed it sincerely robert kendo kendo gun shop p.s send all the ladies to my my way i'll make them feel better they should feel safe with me i am not a registered sex offender there are various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman Contest winner, Chris Redfield. Where's your trophy, Jill? Yeah, okay. Then we have this. Gold. A picture of the stars. SARS team members. Look at them. Really looks like the photo of, like, from the Resident Evil 1 intro. Like, you know, the live action cast group, sh group shot. I don't know. And there's, look at, there's fours there. I can see him. There's... That's Sexy Wesky with his shades, day or night. There's Barry, you'd never miss Barry. And Chris is kind of like, before he had an arm that blocks the screen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, 
what's this uh we have i can see jill i can see that's pretty sure that's brett there's richard richard they're terrible demons ouch you're not gonna comment on that okay desk of wesker desk of wesker captain of the stars Sexy Wesky. Now I think it's just in RE2 you could do this 50 times for the bonus thing. I don't think anything happens here, but let's do it 50 times. I'm gonna say that was the fifth, even though it was more. So seven, eight, nine, yeah, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, a twenty-three. A 24, a 25, 26, 27, we're halfway dead, uh, 9, I guess, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 that was definitely 50 no film jill you suck you can't even find a film after 50 tries oh my god okay i might skip these ones i don't know if i'll have enough space space yeah there's the thing we're looking for i think the lock pick it's the desk of chris a stars team member it's this this organization probably reflects the warmest personality. You know him. He's your best friend. What? To just why are you talking about him like he's some unknown dude? My God, why? Rebecca, a rookie member of stuff. Such disrespect. I'm Jill. I'm the best. Ugh, no, I'll need these spots. So you know what? Fuck the bullets. Fuck that. Lies. All lies. Oh, grenade launcher. That's good. I like grenading him better than magnuming him. Talking about Nemi, of course. Especially Acid and... Uh... I love that. You can exchange rounds in this grenade launcher. Nothing less, nothing more. <laughs> yep. Wes, sexy Wesky knew what he was doing, trust me. Until he didn't. Lockpick. I can unlock the simple locks with the simple locks with this. They're like, we're giving him special treatment. Okay, uh, out, I guess. Shouldn't it? Uh, it's gonna go, yeah, it's here. Meep, meep, meep. I really need some water. Be right back. Talking too much and my mouth's dry. Hope it's not making any loud noises. Joop, joop. Okay, um, water first. Just kind of bored. Oh, hey, Brown, I didn't see when you came in. Hello, hello, man. Oh, uh, yeah, it is there, but I'm full. I'm like, I, I have these red herbs and all this shit, so fuck it. And we're going Rambo. This is Rambo, Jill Run. What did Carlos say? I, I. I forget, I forget, I keep forgetting what that cutscene's supposed to, like, tell him, was he, was it Carlos, was it just a random UBCS, were they saying something interesting, did I miss anything interesting, hello, hello Raf, how are you man, how are you feeling, let's go melt some Nemi, oh, stop, stop taking down my police station, asshole, this is my home, Get out! It's gonna go here. Oh, oh my God! So the vibration, that sound. Here you go. Oh yeah, 
it's definitely the better version. I talked a lot about it in the start. And you, you can see how I'm enjoying it because it's been an hour and, and a half streaming. And I'm just, I just arrived here. Normally, if you speedrun it, you, by this point, you can be at the end of the game. But it's very enjoyable. Hello, Matt. Hello. Nice to see you drop by. Oh, I'm so glad people are coming in. I guess I started a little early. So we have that tense music. We have the acid rounds. Because I fucked up. We should have had the freezing rounds. But I was like, BC, BC. Yeah, it's BC. That's what we get. It's a little tense. Do I want to go down like backwards? Do I want to go forwards? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go my back end. Like whoa! Oh no, you can't do that. <laughs> For some reason, you can't do that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you mean this battle? Yeah, he's gonna have a bazooka now. But you know what? I have drugs on me. I have hard. Dr I have red drugs. I have green and red drugs. I have. Grenade rounds, I have magnum rounds, I will just throw those at him, so... Yeah, of course I'm gonna fight him, this is easy mode, I have to fight him, I can't, like, not fight him. So are we ready? I don't know what's going on, I'm just gonna go, like, slowly go here... Ah! Well, look who's got a bazooka. Ah, I hate the bazooka! Dodge! Oh, I actually did it, so you just gotta, like... Keep smoking, bitch! Oh, I didn't dodge in time. Okay. Fuck you. Go down, boy. I said go down. Yeah, dodge, bitch. It's gonna blow after like eight shots, I think. Yeah, dodge, bitch. I, I'm doing this much better than... Oh, that was a waste. Okay. So let's let's never him a bit to, to end. Never! He's angry. Look, sir, you're in my way. You're in my police station. You're trying to kill me. I can't show no mercy. Yes, stars indeed. Ah, you punched me. That's so not fair. I did not punch you. I will now. Dodge! Yeah! Damn, I didn't know I'd do it so good. Fuck yeah. I know it's easy mode, but I never dodged as a kid. I couldn't do it. Nice! That's what you get. Uh, I wish I had a knife to like stick it in his back now. Where do you get off shooting your bazooka at me? He's not dropping anything on easy, right? Yeah, it's only on hard. That's why we'll do the hard run. I do want, I never did it. I want to assemble whatever he's leaving. Yeah, you can shoot the rockets as well. I don't know how it would go with the. Uh, with the. Uh, I wouldn't do with the grenade launcher though, so. Screw it. So weird playing this now after... No, I wanna return this. Return to sender. So easy mode is literally you just like... Putting, you know, taking out your frustration on poor Nemesis and the guys. So, uh, we're we gonna do... Cause this is gonna go here, I know that, so... Uh, Grey launcher rounds one, two, three different rounds, and one in it is gonna be. And then here is where we start Magnum. And if we if we follow that order, damn, that's like it's gonna max out the thing. I knew it, but yeah, we want to do that kind of. Do we have space for everything? I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more shit here. So yeah, one, two, three. After the grain launcher, yeah. Let's OCD this. OCD to the max. OCD, it's in the game. It's literally in the game. It wants you to be OCD. You can't play Resident Evil 3 and like a Resident Evil and not be OCD. I want these are... I want to mix all this weed. It needs to be good weed. Yeah, gun parts. I know it leaves gun parts, Raph, but I also know he leaves... There are different parts for different guns, and you get things that I've never seen. So that's why, because normally when I did hard run, I just tried to survive, you know. Like I said at the beginning of this, I was really intimidated by the hard run as a kid. And tried it fairly lately. And I never actually gave it time. Because I was already, I played this game already too many times to give a shit about, you know, collecting everything. But now I would love that. 
I want to use that and I wanted to check my own card. Check. Oh, that's star. That's reds. This one. Wait, they have numbers, do they? Which I can't see. Yeah, there's something there. Maybe it's more visible on the stream because it's kind of... It's kind of... The... Uh, what's it called? The, the, not the component, the other one. Oh my god, I can't remember. Where is it? Here? These are also like forever, so you know what? That, that... No, wait. How did that get? One, two, three. That's... One, two, three. That's where the Magnum starts. You, sir, come here. You go straight after the Magnum with this, and then you guys go here. That's right, you go there, you go there, and these guys I'm gonna use later. Yeah, that's more like it. Anything I need to bring? Only the lockpick. And I'm not gonna save yet, I'll do it at uh, downtown. When we get to downtown. So, that's all I need if I remember correctly. Again, if I'm wrong, someone correct me, I think, don't think I need anything else. Right now... So cars are useless, reloading tool is useless because they fucked up. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just uh, just lockpick, right? I mean, feel free to encourage me here. I just forgot how to play this completely, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not going back up for that ammo. Oh, the window's broken. Okay, that's nice. That is very nice. We got everything here? No, there's a thing here. I know there is. Yes, yes, there is. I hope I got all the files. That's what I'm mostly interested in. It files, then everything else. Oh, wow. You know what you can make with that? Freeze rounds. You know what else you can make with that when you fuck up? Acid rounds. They're equally good. Did I take that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. There's nothing more. Nothing more, nothing less. Is there anything on the other side, though? Uh, there should be just three things, if I remember. Again, but... You know all these piles of paper gel, there's seriously nothing important to read? Are you kidding me? Stop banging on my police station. What a bunch of rude people. Never! Marvin? <gasps> Marvin! Where are you, Marvin? He's gone. Marvin? Marvin. He should be here. Oh, yeah, he went. He's probably behind on the other side. He unbarricaded all the doors. He's writing the memo for Leon and he's gonna drop it here. That makes sense. Uh, that's my vote on what's going on there. Oh, wee ho, wee ho, wee ho, wee ho. Oh. Run, 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 run. There's nothing to see. Marvin! I can't do a proper Rita. I would like to do like that. Like, oh, Marvin! Marvin? Marvin. St Starvin' Marvin? No, it's just a regular old Marvin. Marvin! Marvin, no, Brad's gone too, Brad, oh yeah, he's gone, so somehow, he's gone, like, on the, in the Resident Evil 2, we'd find him beneath here, in the underpass, that's kind of like, you can see it in the right part, part of the screen, but who took the barricades out, like, was it Nemesis, was he looking for Jill, just like, putting things away, was it Marvin, was he bored, definitely wasn't Harry and Rita, they're fucking useless, just killing the rest of the police. I think they killed more of the uh, police department than... <laughs> yeah, it was Shirley Dorian. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, Harry and uh, Rita killed more raccoon police than, like, all the monsters. The hydrant stopped uh, gushing water. That's also a very nice touch. Like, how things changed whenever you're back. So, I think now I can go back to... Dario's, let's do that. Actually, let's unlock that, because I don't want to carry that with me. 
I need to find this. Pretty sure I need to. Yeah, when I find the square crank, which I can't remember where I find the square crank. Square. Ah, wrong button. Uh. So I have that bit to get to the construction yard and the sub sub power substation. I'll be. Ba oh yeah, the crank is gonna be here. And that's when I will go back to Dario. So for now, no. No. So I'll get to the uptown parking garage, whatever, and downtown parking garage, and that's what I'll save. Anything to read? Oh, it's time for the mutated fleas. What are they called here? Power demons? Power demons, I think. Tick, tick, tick. He's gone, Jim. I thought they were grasshoppers when I was a kid, but then, you know, reading up later, I realized they were... Yeah, you have to take the bullets to take this file. They were actually fleas. And they're definitely less annoying than the outbreak uh, underbelly fleas. Mercenary's Diary. Let's give him some... Let's give him some accent. He's not, he's, they're, most of these guys are like foreign. Following six months of intensive training, my body's edge has returned. I had the good... No, wait. I had the good... I uh, know. I was a good soldier, but they ordered my execution with no reason given. I was tortured and then forced to give a false confession. I'm not sure if this is a Slavic or an Irish or Scottish accent, but it's something all right. But on the morning of my execution, a miracle happened. The company held helped me out, giving me a second lease on life. September 15th. I ended my vacation short and returned to the HQ office. It looks like my UBCA's unit's been called into action. Umbrella maintains its own paramilitary unit to counter corporate terrorism and VIP abduction. In addition, they have nightmen who specialize in handling problems caused by illegal products. This is getting more Russian by the moment. I'm currently a member of the latter. So, like... Okay. September 28th. Dawn's here, but we're still slogging through this nightmare. There are no provisions of any kind here. The undead walk the streets feeding upon the flesh of the living. Given the choice again, I would rather have been executed. Death Row was a heavenly asylum compared to this place. I've chosen to pull the trigger myself with the hope that my dead body won't come back to life. And I guess he did it? He actually did it. You, sir? You should have... You, that's kind of backwards. You should have lived and the asshole Nikolai should have died. It's so like R1 will aim at enemies. R2 will aim at like environmentals and enemies. It's kind of different in Outbreak. I like the manual aim more than separate thingy. But they're like... It's a good inclusion. This was the first step towards that. Alright. Alright, alright. This is where we find the hose. And we'll need... It's fixed with bolts. Again, gun cannot help. We need a wrench. I think it's a wrench. Oh, hello. Nope. Anything here to read? I want to read more of Raccoon City's... Wait, maybe there's something here? Look at that emblem above the door. That. So cool. I gotta say, in this case, unlike Outbreak, which looks worse on the stream than on the TV, this definitely looks better on the stream because back at the time developers were, were counting on the blurry effect of the... Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that like whole fucking pharmacy. They were counting on the effects of the uh, uh, CRT screen and this is what this capture card... That's exactly what this capture card does. So it got that blurriness, and that's why I think it looks a lot better on the stream, at least from this point. Ugh. Okay. One more, Jill, you can do it. This is... kind of feel this, yeah, the, on... Picking up items on N64 RE2 is it, so fast, because there's no loading, and it never, like, has to load what you're about to do next. Mmm, let's brown this one. Just because we can. That's a questionable powder there, Jill. Oh, is this the Big E? Big E? Big E, where are you, Big E? Big E! 
Oh, I can't remember where the biggie was. I'm sure it's in RE3, but if I'm wrong, then it's in RE2, definitely. Oh, I kind of feel like I'm slipping out of my seat here. Never! Ah, fuck, I said never! And that's why easy mode. I can hear you eating. Oh, you wounded my hand. I have to smoke weed to get better. It's blocked by a strong barricade. <laughs> I can't. Resident Evil and barricades. It's just like, they should have called it Barricade City, not Raccoon City. <laughs> Sir, are you okay there? You look like you fell on that car, kinda. Did, did I miss a file yet? Nope. Very good. Very good. Let's explore. This street, so this should be, this is still uptown, right? This should be uptown still, I think. <laughs> These are strong barricades, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is right next, so behind me, so over here is the eastern wall of the police station. Why can't we get a good angle that looks at that? I mean, all of these apartment buildings, wonderful. Really wonderful. I love it. But I wish there was a better angle of, like here, of the Raccoon Police Department. Because I know it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Barricades galore. And they are eating there behind the bus. Like nothing especially are you sure are you absolutely look there's a bus on top of a car with another crushed car and there's like there's dead walking the streets and there's like a bunch of dogs eating a guy who was just alive a second ago and you're gonna go with nothing strange bullshit are you serious or just one oh jill is there nothing strange here too you just grabbed him she just grabbed his crotch you all saw that she grabbed his crotch pick up some gunpowder C. A red car. Don't forget about the barricades. <laughs> Alrighty. Push the button. No, the big red button doesn't do anything. Can't read the sign. But you can read parking entrance. Okay, that's nice. Regulations regarding the usage of this parking area are written here. Why don't you read them? Like, that would be good reading material. Parking regulations. Number one and foremost, don't be a dick. <laughs> Never! Yeah, I can hear you running. Never! Never them to death. How much never bullets? How many never bullets I have? 16%. I think it's like one or two, or no, I think four shots per. No, three per percent, because it goes. Pa, pa, pa. What's going on? Oh, power cable. Yes. Okay. Ooh, I thought it kind of glitched. Nothing useful. Nothing. You can't even go there to the van. You can't climb there. No, it was going to happen later. No power for it. I always wondered if you can live. There's what was something planned to be there because it says there's no power for it. It kind of looks like you were supposed to enter it because it's differently shaded or something. But I guess not. There's a motorcycle. Why didn't you just escape the city and that? Look at all these cars. You can't tell me all of them are like dead cars. There's no way. No, even like if they are, you can combine parts for two different cars and go. The gate is closed. And that gate would go. So knowing that this is like the east of the parking garage. So that gate would go out here in the back street of the, of the RPD. I'm already in downtown. Oh, boy. Where you also have the RPD parking exit, so that kind of makes sense. The blue herbs that you can use, will you use them? I don't need to use these. Why would you ask then? It's like, uh, I, do you want to eat the, the, the thing? Uh, uh, wait, you, you ate already, there's no need for you to eat the thing. Sure, why not? Like, making an army of handgun bullets that I will ne never use. Why not? Stocking them up in case somebody else needs them. Look at that ammo. <laughs> they really like went overboard when they said easy and hard. They meant easy and hard. There's no medium. There's no normal. I don't know why. But it kind of like 
I guess hard mode's supposed to be normal? I don't know. So let's not fuck this up again. First of all, you go here. Then you go there. Like that, I'm gonna say. And then we need we need a reloading tool. Where are you? Oh gee, sitting in one spot for a long time. Really isn't the best strategy. Shouldn't have some like kind of walking gaming chairs so you like exercise and play at the same time. Combine let's see what it's check. Ah, there must be a way to make freeze rounds from those acid rounds I got that I use most of. I see the error of my ways now. Okay, yeah. That's why this is a refresher run. So, A, B, and then let's not fuck it up. A, B again, and then C, C, and then... Yeah, that's it. Phew! Okay, we're gonna save those for later. Uh, we don't need this at the moment. P P P P P. We don't need that either. So we're gonna need that and that much later. Actually, they're also basically constant items. Yep. So they should be there. And then, excellent, the reloading tool. The third type, right? One, two, three. Excellent. And there's that. And I'm gonna not gonna need the cable yet, but I'm gonna check it still. A large capacity power cable used with large machinery. Quite astounding. I know I said I'm gonna save here, but I'm gonna save downtown thingy over there because I wanna play a little bit more. So don't you judge me. Okay, so you go there, boy. You I'm gonna need in a minute. And, uh, you know what? Don't forget these. These. Now, I don't think Nemesis is gonna... Oh, yeah, he's gonna attack me in the restaurant. So let's go full on. Like that. That. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck him. We're... This is resist... This is real resistance. I'm showing him resistance right there. Rambo Jill for the win. Okay, I guess that's it. Run! Wait, something could be here. Aside from the typewriter. No. 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 Nothing on there. Okay. Next room, please. Okay, that's kind of... NEVER! Oh, nice dodge. No, bad dodge. 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 Never. Never. Ah, oh, I said never. 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 Never? Never. Wow, each bite, really? Yo, you know what? I'm just gonna keep using the greens. I'm not even gonna go for the... Are you gonna jump out, sir? 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 Oh. Eagles... Something? Pet shop. Oh, it's a pet shop. Nice. Okay. Very nice street. So where is this? This should be behind the RPD, right? Yeah. So that's the street. So this is where B-side of, like, Leon and Claire's run starts, right? It should be. No, it's more to the back here where the parking garage is. And the exit is around here somewhere, I think. Or this is a piece of it. Yeah, but it's basically that street. We should be in the, we should be in that street now. I wish they connect, like they give you this, this, those snippets. Just like, give me one location, one street location from RE2. Nothing special, just like rubbish. Sir, no, not jumping out. Okay. Never, never, never. Oh, wheelbarrow. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of things in, in like better detail than ever before right now. Like I said, I never played this game on on this big TV. Ooh, maps. I love maps. I got the downtown map. 
with lots of place to explore. There's the trolley. Oh, hold on. So unknown, is this what you were talking about? You said about the map. Is this the bit? Should we be? Should this be near the? the is the zoo somewhere nearby? Oh, why do I keep pressing? That's weird that that's the map button and the then X is zoom. So there's the trolley. That's literally that's that has to be its like last stop because there's nothing beyond here. I know over here, so it has to go there. I have no idea how in the world it turns here or here. Yeah, this is this is so close. So this must be somewhere where RE2 starts. Ah, oh, so many questions. Trolley. I like that it go, they call it trolley. Oh, not a game map. Okay, I will have to look for that later. There's gonna be fleas here. Schedules for future construction works are with here. Okay. There's the environmental. I can throw on the fucking flea grasshopper thingy. Let's try to do it. Yeah, just. I think it's like. Ah, more fleas! Yes! So it should be like. Ah, you asshole! You made me waste my pallet thingy. Reload. You know what? Since this is easy, I'm gonna reload live. Ah, ah that was a bad idea. I'm not gonna reload li live. Fleas are the bane of my existence, definitely. I'm still tempted to do it live. You know what? Fuck you. Did I kill the wrong one? Sir? Mr. Flea? He's jumping on nothing. I just wanted a, to bash your head with a pallet. Why do you have to... <laughs> that stun lock is so good. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're kind of... different. That's why I always thought they're grasshoppers. They're obviously developed from the Chimera from the first Resident Evil, which were mutated flies. And they, they act and sound a lot like them. Did he say insane agony? Where am I? <laughs> Substation. They always bug me. I always thought that's like a subway station. Why is there? Because there's, you know, power and everything. There must have been trains here, but no. So it's that street where I got out of the sea, where the dogs were. It's literally, somehow, this is... I know this is like below the level, because probably I'm climbing up here. Uh, my stomach. Then I power this here. And then I have the... Then I go down. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's the underpass, overpass. West pass, east pass. Unknown, what do you think about like streaming Outbreak? Because this dragged on, as, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to take a break after our E3 stream anyway. But I was thinking maybe we do it uh, at 8 p.m. when you're back, because I think we're pretty close to to 7 p.m. Nothing to check. Not even Biggie. I want Biggie. Biggie. Hello. Anybody home? Anybody home? Yeah, let's do it that way. So where do I want to go? To where I want to go? Do I want to go through the restaurant? So depending where I go first is how and where I'll meet Carlos. But let's, for now, let's do the um, let's do the restaurant. Oh, there he is. If I hadn't gone this way, I wouldn't see this scum. Wait, Carlos, I just gotta check these herbs here. There's a, so many greens, I don't even have to mix them. Green, 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 green. Oh, the fucking disc load times in the 90s. Then load an inventory thing. Place your wisdom here. And yeah, if I take this, the water will start running. And there's electricity because of the broken light bulb. Now that cannot have been... Uh, <laughs> heats every day, I know. Spoiled. So if I do this, this happens.
that horse is pissing like crazy and the woman is drawing infinite amount of water future compass and I can't go back cuz I'll get zap ow so what do you mean you don't know oh, that placement that positioning so that can have been made as a puzzle because that's a broken bulb right there. Nobody thought, yeah, we're going to break this bulb and like, we're going to make this fountain with a broken bulb. If somebody takes the compass without putting the book in, they're going to be in a world of pain, man. I mean, it could have been Spencer that sounds like something he'd like. But it's like, it's beautiful, the engravings and everything. It reminds of some things I, we have here and I think a lot of European cities have them, but like my capital, Belgrade, has, you know, fountains and engravings like these. This really makes it makes it seem real. And then you have to bring the compass to him. I mean that's just that's so like stretching it already. But we love that. Nevertheless, we still love it. Do you see that that's the Biohazard 4 poster, is it? That's the theater. So over here is the theater. The that street is down somehow. That's what's confusing me. So we have street there, barricaded, and this bit here is below. It's like lower ground. How does that happen? I really want to understand that. I'm pretty sure that's the biohazard four poster right there, up there. Biohazard Outbreak File 4 Extra DLC Mega. No, I hope we don't get that. That sounds just that sounds so bad. I'm sorry I ever said that. Oh, there's the diner and the grill. Grill 13. Is that a thing? Because there was a grill 13. Yeah. Yeah. In the uh, the city of Novi Sad here, it was a big deal and they closed it and this punk band even made a song about it. The Grill 13. So, why? Is that a coincidence? Hello? Apparently no monsters here. Oh, how lucky I am. There should be something here. Files, maybe? Ammo? Oh, look how beautiful the diner is. Even the diner is kind of, kind of dumbed down in the remake. It's just me. I kind of feel like this. Look at this. Like, so so many stories just like in one... This is one frame. One frame. One picture. All of this. All the details here. The fish up there on the in the corner. The bottles. The magazines. The, like, in the remake, it's just like a kind of diner. Okay? I want to get out of here. There's just a safe room here. That's all I care about. That and uh, and the music from RE2 for the collapse. What about this? Oh, there's the file I've been talking about. Hello, file. La, me, 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 me. City guide. Are we gonna do this as a cool slick guy? The tracks of our city. Dear citizen, thank to kind, thanks to kind and generous people of Umbrella Inc., this is a peaceful and friendly city. <laughs> the vast donations from Umbrella Inc. have been used for welfare work, the construction of public utilities, and to help maintain public peace. In 1992, it was my fifth year as a mayor. Oh, that's the mayor, right? It was my 15th year as a mayor of our beautiful city. It was then that I... Then it was then that through many donations and hard work our city was able to rebuild the municipal building, create a state of the art hospital, and I kinda feel there was supposed to be more in that sentence or and instead of coma, but okay. In honor of these fine accomplishments, I have awarded with a I was awarded with a grand statue the same year. The statue rests in the municipal building. It's like an ad for his statue. I came to this city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contributions. He's supposed to be an old mayor. I made contributions to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledge to follow the tradition of this fine city and will devote my life to its prosperity. The mayor of the city, Michael Warren, Esquire. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's check the kitchen. I'm kind of hungry. I am hungry. The lamp is lit. 
Oh, will that be important later? I don't know. Hello, lamp. Hello, thing I can't open without a... Without a hooker? <laughs> without a crowbar? Switch for the drain, a switch for the drain. Flammable gas is leaking. Can I suicide? Can I kill myself here? I want to try to kill myself here. That would be a wonderful end to this run. Uh, of course you can't. <laughs> Imagine if you could. Now I'll need the lockpick, right? right? Where's Carlos? I think I'll meet him when I'm back with the lockpick. Or it's one of those randomizer thingies where I'll meet him later. Oh, never! That was quite nevery. Sir, I can kind of see you. And I said never. Bullet showers. Never. Oh, too high. Never. Never. I hear more. I know this place is really fucking hard. Be really careful. Never. That was the. That was double never. That was never never. Never ever ever. Let's see where we are. There's the safe room. That's where I'm going to save for now. This is going back to before we met Carlos. So I'm, is the biggie here? Is there? Is this where the poster for the biggies? Biggie, 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 I will, I'm, I'm even gonna set the trends with this here. Here. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, I really talk too much. My mouth is getting tired. Like, blah, blah, blah. Biggie? No, Biggie. No, Biggie. No, Biggie. Okay, it's time to save. What is that on the... On that pole over there? Something up something. There's also like a... Catholic... S silence center I wish these were more uh, again I think it's easier to read go back Joe on the stream mm, maybe later this side up is that like was that a guy with this side up on him I wonder unlock the door there's the crank well it's the wrong crank but still I was happy for a sec It's a lot easier to manage your inventory when you know the events, which I obviously forgot. I'm never sure when when the stars is gonna attack. Can't believe you just had one battle with him so far. Should be more soon. So, smoke that. There, you're fine. Hmm. Still gonna use that for a while, keep that for Nemi. But you know what? Get those acid rounds out of it. Keep that. Keep that, I guess. That as well. Yep. Where's the. I think this is the closest item box. Still keep that. Keep that. Put that away, not that I use it. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Is that a joke? Is that a joke, sir? Did you come to my channel to make jokes? This is a serious channel. We're taking this seriously. This is like... We don't make jokes here. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, it has like... It doesn't even let you be OCD. You like, put your things in the pile. Like, I know where I put it. It moves. <laughs> Uh, we need to add outbreak emoji to this. I don't know if that's possible on Twitch. I'm gonna research. But yeah, that's it. It's time to save. I really need to eat something. I'm losing it here. <laughs> What's this been? Two and a half hours. Obviously, I've enjoyed it. Ink ribbon. Let's check that. We have infinite amount of ring ribbon. Ring ribbon. Ring raggy. Read your ring ribbon. Hex edge crank. This grip is heavily rusted. Okay, 
Time to type our adventure in. Yep. Yep. Nope! Okay, I have a backup of that save. That was my hard save. Oh, but I, luckily I have a backup. Oh, backup. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I should have taken a break. So normally I take a break every hour of streaming. But now I just kept going and going and going and going. Alright, folks. Thank you all for watching. This has been a blast from the past. Are you sure? Yeah, there we go. Um, really really fun like it it doesn't feel like it's aged as i expected it kind of but i did play uh one and two recent in the recent years a lot so this is kind of faster version of that it's still still pretty playable especially if you have a playstation and component cables if not mm, i'm guessing on emulator you can filter it up and make it sweet and all that i remember on re2 you could even read uh, the small prints when you filter it uh so yeah like, if you miss this game, give it a go. It's still still very good. And you can play it like me, take your sweet time forever, or you can speedrun it. Either way, it works fi fine. But yeah, this is the this is where my talky bit has got to cut. So thanks all for watching. I'll be back in about an hour and a half with uh, some Resident Evil Outbreak. Stay tuned. Till, till then, stay well.